Kitchen with baking specialist Sarah. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing very good because we have all these sweets in front of us. Yes, so very lucky. it is the season to start baking, right? Yes, it is, it is. And um, um, we're here to celebrate the Robin Hood 30th anniversary of our holiday recipe collection. Very good. And so what we've done this year to celebrate is we've taken some classic recipes and applied current trends to them. And we've come up with 20 new interesting, fun, and delicious recipes with a twist. So we brought some of them um, with us today to show you. Nice. Talk about it to eat, of course. Yes, yes, that sounds like a very good idea. Yeah. Now, bacon over here. Yes, bacon is in. Mm -hmm. uh, bacon's been in for a while, very trendy. And so we thought we have to get bacon into a cookie somehow. And so we candied it, um, brown sugar, bake it in the oven until it gets nice and crispy, chop it up, and then we added it to an oatmeal cookie with butterscotch chips. Mm. So it gets sweet and salty and crispy and chewy. So it's the chewy bacon butterscotch that Sounds cookie. horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the book. Okay. <laughs> and now mini cakes here. Yeah. So that's a twist on a chocolate cake. So instead of this being a regular dark chocolate cake, it's a white chocolate cake. And to take advantage of the mini trend. Now truffles over here. Yep, so those are our cookie dough truffles. So that's an unbaked recipe. So you can do it with your kids from start to finish without having to turn on the oven. Um, and what that is inside is graham cracker crumbs, oatmeal, butter, brown sugar, all kinds of good stuff. And um, condensed milk, magic condensed milk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you freeze them and then you dip them into chocolate and then you decorate while the chocolate's still soft. It's a great gift giving um, item also. Like you show up at someone's house with this for dinner. Yeah, and they look great. They do look great and they're really easy. Like they're they're super easy to do. And that's what people want a lot of times too is simple. But especially on the holidays, you've got so much to do. Mm -hmm. You've got to shop, you've got to decorate. Um, these recipes, actually all of these on the table, you can make ahead and freeze. They freeze really well, even iced. It's no problem to freeze them. Nice. And now cupcakes here. These are red velvet cupcakes and cones. Yes. So we've taken the trend of red velvet cupcakes and put them in an ice cream cone. You bake them in the cone. And the way you do it is you put all of your cones into a muffin tin. You pour your batter in and you just bake it right in the tin. Let's, Let's get, get to started. it. started. So it's super easy. It's a cream cheese icing. All, right. all these recipes are in the booklet and online. Piping bag. If you don't have a piping bag, you can just take a, a freezer bag and cut the tip off. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so all we do is start around the edge. This is how I like to do it, and there's really no wrong way. Okay, that's good. And you just keep going around and around and around. Okay. And then you gotta decorate. Oh, yours is a lot more than mine. I, yeah, I, I do like icing. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> and it's cream cheese, so. Yeah, it is. Oh. So in one, if you could give one tip to families out there when baking, what? What's the most important thing they should remember? I think people um, should remember that it's a really fun activity. And to ensure success, just read through the whole recipe before you start. So you know what you're doing, and you know what's going to come next. There's no surprises at the end. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You want it to taste good as well. Yeah, It for to sure, be fun, sure. but taste good. Absolutely. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you're it. Welcome. You're very welcome. Cheers. Cheers. Here's the holiday baking. Mm.